killer robots, machines that hunt down and terminate humans, have caught the public's imagination in science fiction, cyberpunk and dystopian genres for generations. And while we're still far away from Terminators roaming the streets, the sci-fi of the past is starting to become today's reality. From increasingly autonomous drones to intelligent malware attacks on Iran, AI is becoming a key weapon in the arsenal of 21st century warfare. Artificial intelligence, machine learning and autonomous devices are all different kinds of systems that try to do the same thing, mimic some aspects of human intelligence. They give machines the ability to think in a limited way and allow them to work on problems normally reserved for humans, such as pattern and speech recognition, data analysis and decision making. These tools are not new. Amazon, Google and other mega corporations have used them to build vast commercial empires by predicting the wants and needs of their customers through big data, the vast and seemingly endless amount of information that is generated online. But now, AI is also transforming the military in many of the same ways. The accuracy and precision of current weapons is forcing today's battlefields to empty of human combatants, as AI acts as a force multiplier, a tool that allows the same amount of people to do and achieve more. Military AI focuses on three things cyber-attacking software, data crunches, and autonomous machines. Over a decade ago, the world's most famous cyber weapon, Stuxnet, sought to insinuate itself into the software controlling and spinning of centrifuges refining uranium in Iran. Able to hide itself, it covered up its tracks, searching for a particular piece of code to attack that would cause the centrifuges to spin out of control and destroy themselves. Although highly sophisticated then, it would be nothing compared to what is available now and what could be deployed during a future conflict. Viruses like these would not only aim to attack and sabotage, but would also be able to relay strategic information back to their creators. These are the wartime spies of the 21st century, and the data they collect is invaluable. In today's warfare, long before any bullets are fired, a mountain of data is gathered by militaries around the world through satellites, battlefield sensors, and cyber attacks. Analysts are struggling to make sense of all the information being gathered and increasingly rely on learning algorithms that thrive off this data in much the same way that Amazon's algorithms do. While AI algorithms are great at data crunching, they have also started to surprise observers in the choices they make. In 2016, when an AI program, AlphaGo, took on a human grandmaster and world champion, of the famously complex game of Go, it surprised everyone watching with its unexpectedly bold moves, catching its opponent, Lee Sedol, off guard. The algorithm went on to win to the shock of the tournament's observers. But where AI really shines is in mass surveillance and counterinsurgency. The ability to scan images made available from millions of CCTV cameras or drones and follow multiple potential targets would be unthinkable outside of a James Bond movie. It's terrifying in its potential, and yet already achievable. This type of big data surveillance is already being used with significant success in counterinsurgency operations. The data from a raid can now be quickly analysed and acted on, leading to other raids that same night, generating even more information. This speed has the ability to knock any insurgent group off balance, leaving them with only one option, to constantly move and hide. Big data has already allowed these AI programs and systems to constantly grow and improve. In war games and dogfight simulations, AI pilots are already starting to score significant victories over their human counterparts, leading to the increasing rise in autonomous machines. As AI power develops, the push towards systems becoming autonomous will only increase. For now, militaries are keen to have a human involved in the decision-making loop. But in wartime, these communication links are potential targets. Cut off the head, and the body would not be able to think. Not so with the high-end intelligence gathering unarmed drone Global Hawk, which once given orders, is able to carry them out without the need of a vulnerable data link. This makes it far more survivable in a future conflict, and money is now being poured into these new systems, like France's Dassault Neuron and Russia's Sukhoi S-70. Australian Air Force researchers, in collaboration with Boeing, are currently developing the robotic Loyal Wingman, 
Designed to fly alongside a jet flown by a human pilot, this unmanned aircraft would fight off the enemy, complete its mission, or help the human pilot to do so. It would also act as an AI bodyguard, defending the manned aircraft designed to sacrifice itself, if need be, to save the human pilot. And while they don't exist now, killer robots are a worry for many. Codes of ethics are already being worked on for when autonomous combatants undoubtedly begin to enter the war zone. For now, the potential applications of artificial intelligence by militaries around the world is still huge in scope. As far as each type of system grows and develops, it increases the potential for all others. So while we're not facing down the Terminator yet, it might not be long before our conflicts start looking a lot more like science fiction movies.